Hello, I'm John Molesky, host of Dialogue, joining you from the set of Dialogue at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars in Washington, D.C., where we've just conducted a fascinating interview with Phil Donahue and Vladimir Posner, who joins us from Moscow. In 1985, just six months, uh, or I, I should say one month, after the first summit between an American and a Soviet leader in six years, both of you put together, working with your partners, a people-to-people -people diplomacy moment. Uh, let me ask you the, both this question. What were your concerns going in? What were your fears? What were your apprehensions? This was groundbreaking. Phil, we'll start with you. My concern was that I was going to become, unwittingly, a part of a Soviet propaganda um, special, television extravaganza, and the left-wing, pinko, anti business, capitalist, uh, Donahue is going to become a voice for communism and socialism. I mean, that's how bad it was in 1985. If time. you don't put your mind back there, you can't really grasp how severe it was this it was. Uh, anxiety. You wanted to say. No, no. The, uh, Vladimir, what about you? What From your side of the divide, uh, is concern similar or different? different. Uh, my concerns really began when the show started and when I realized that there was a lot of, uh, of criticism from the American side coming over that this was something that was not acceptable in the Soviet Union and that probably as a result of all of this I'd lose my job uh, and I'd be in very hot water. So I, I was very concerned about that. Mm -hmm. uh, gentlemen, it's, it's always hard to, hard to gauge impact. We've had 25 years to look back. What do you think the impact was of, of the Space Bridge programs? Well, it was clearly much greater in the Soviet Union than it was here. It was difficult to get stations to carry this program. Um, you know, Saturday Night Live, we weren't. And we worked hard. And I don't know, I forget how many stations. We have to look this up. Certainly, the Donahue Show was on over 200 stations at that time. But our space bridge did not get on mm -hmm. over 200 stations. We sweat. Washington. We were very concerned that Washington wasn't going to carry the space bridge. So, you know, it was it was it was hard. It was a, it was a tough sell. Put it that way. Vladimir, of all the things that you saw that uh, eventually led up to the end of the Soviet Union, where does this factor in? If you ask anyone today in this country who's say 25 years old or older. I think you'll get 95% who say that they remember the space bridge. It was such an event. Um, it, it was so unexpected. It was like, you know, thunder out of a clear blue sky. It, it really changed people's views. And I, I, I don't want to overdo this, but I think it was, it heralded in what came to be called glossiness. That is to say, the possibility to speak your mind and not fear the consequences. It's tremendously important. Gentlemen, thank you. Uh, you both, in our longer discussion, talked about how you got goosebumps and could feel the juices flowing when we saw the intro. I have to say, not even part of it, and I had the same feeling. This really was an amazing really? historic event. Yeah, so congratulations. Uh, even all these years later, it resonates. And if you'd like to hear more from Vladimir Posner and Phil Donahue about this extraordinary event back in 1985 and their thoughts on the current situation, you can go to our website, www.wilsoncenter.org. Look at the upper right-hand side. You'll see the dialogue uh, tab. Click on that, and you can find the entire 30-minute interview. Thanks.